that's an increasingly important question um, because, as I just mentioned earlier, your starting point is one where you pay the price where the management plan will not deliver your returns. So historically, you had a situation where um, if you bid off the management plan, um, you probably hit the price where um, you would win the deal. And so you could typically take a discount off your management plan and still be safe and sort of deliver a price that was attractive. These days, if you bid on the management plan, you're not gonna win the deal. And so when you invest, you enter a situation where you have to deliver over and above what management sold you as their plan. It creates that sort of pressure where you need to come to the table with a lot of additional expertise and elements that you can bring to the table. And I guess um, what we focus on as a firm is um, growth in particular. And so a lot of the tools that we bring are around go-to-market strategy, sales efficiency, pricing, everything to do with helping you accelerate um, your performance on, on the top line. And that stretches well into inorganic means of growth. So M&A, for example, is one very strong driver of uh, performance in our portfolio. I guess the key change that the company typically experiences is pace at which we operate. And pace is highly important to deliver the results we want to see. The important thing though is to build a, a, a good basis on which to put your initiatives on top of. And the three key pillars of that basis are number one, people. So if you don't have the right senior management team, then all your initiatives will sort of not get the traction that you want. So number one is getting the right people on the bus. Number two is having the systems in place that allow you to actually understand what's going on. So we're coming to the business from the outside in and for us to understand what is going on, we need the right systems, we need the right reporting structures for us to see what actually happens with the performance and with the initiatives we put in place. And then lastly, it's about structures. So putting the right processes in place, making sure that the organizational setup is still fit for purpose. And in most of the cases we come in, these things are all outdated. And so with those three pillars, you have a good sort of foundation to then build on top of. And I guess the two areas we then focus on is one, the definition of a good strategy, and the, the, the sort of the key area to really be uh, aware of is there's often a lack of focus uh, about a, a good strategy. And so what we bring is relentless focus around what is it that you want to do in five years time and then break this down into what, what does that mean for this year in terms of the key three things you want to do. And it's not more than three things. And I guess the second element is more around operational building blocks. So we have expertise in lots of different functional areas. I mentioned growth areas, but it stretches to customer support, R&D and other areas. And we deliver that through in-house expertise, experts. And what we also have is networking events where we bring all our executives of all our portfolio companies together. So one thing that people should remember is that the CEO job is a, is a very lonely position. And so what they really appreciate is the opportunity to exchange their views with CEOs. And that is true also for CTOs, CFOs, customer success officers and so on.